your post. Stay on your post. Yes, sir. I don't know who the Lord was talking to, but I just believe the Lord is talking to somebody that is wondering why am I still here? Why am I still just tied up in this place? And the Lord said, Paris, tell him, I said, stay on the post. And the reason he said that because the Lord knew that he had a specific need for it. And see, our problem is we move too fast before that specific need, before that time for that specific need is coming to place. And so when the Lord began to tell us that Terrence tell them to stay on that post. And just like he was saying, there may be some other donkeys that are tripping around their post. Are trying to bite and loose, but the Lord said, stay on your post. You ain't got to act like no jackass just because you're on a post. That's what a donkey is. But he said, stay on your post. Because he has chosen you for such a time as this. Yes, yes, he has chosen you for such a time as this. Stay on your post. Don't get impatient on your post. Don't get frustrated on your post. Don't get mad on your post. Don't give up on your post. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy. Just stay on your post. Just stay on your post. Just stay on your post. Even before you were tied to the post. Even before you got into that place where you call a post where you feel like you're stuck at. God knew that I'm coming to get it from that post. And I'm going to send somebody to get it. And they're going to wonder why I'm sending them to get that one. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you going to get that one? It's because he's been chosen to carry me, Lord have mercy. He's been chosen to carry me. And I have never seen no pretty donkeys, but sometimes we need to know that that's the reason God chose them because we're not coming out of nothing pretty. That's good. Yes, God talked to us, though. God talked to us. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes, the Lord said he's talking to somebody right now. On your behalf. Yes, he's speaking to somebody on your behalf so that you can get free for what you're bound to. Yes, you need to hear God. God is speaking to somebody right now on your behalf so that you can get free. Yes, yes, let me, I'm just going to give you a testimony of this morning. This morning we were in here, in this place, and I told my wife, and Pastor Kemp, I don't know this, I told my wife, I said, said, but tomorrow, I don't even know where I'm going to church at. And this morning, I said, Sid, I went to sleep home. That's what I told last night. But this morning, I went to the gym. And the Lord said, go to act praise and worship. And he began to minister this morning. He began to minister. He called out for an altar call. And so people came to the altar. And I came to the altar not for prayer, but for worship and to pray for him. And I know a lot of people are wondering, why Pastor Kemp didn't lay hands on me? I wasn't there for him to lay hands on me. My responsibility was to come pray for him as he was pouring out so he could be quickened because he's already quickened me. But I had to be on my post. Oh, that person. And see, sometimes we don't understand why you got to get up and not do what you want to do. It's because God wants you on your post. He said, I knew I walked in the behind him. I know he probably said, what, what they what they doing? What they doing? And I went in the altar. I, I said, Pastor Kemp, my responsibility is to pray for you. 
He says, you're pulling out and you're quicker than me. My responsibility is to come just hug you so you can be quicker. So we were back at the office having a church because he had dumped out all that. Before he can preach, he didn't even get some more. So I said, let me just hug you. I said, but well, while I'm back here, I got some seed for you. I said, well, do I need to give it an offer time? And so I said, Lord, as I saw this seed, I'm talking to God, so, hey, I'm talking about this, hey, nobody know I said, Lord, but I want you to talk to somebody on my behalf. And before I left the building, Pastor Kemp, I'm going to tell you this. God had to have somebody so double into this. All right. All right.